Hi, do you ever think about the future? I'm sure you do because everyone does. But what can we say about the future? Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I think. We'll start off with the past and then the, the near current future and the far future. So the name of this is called Predicting the Future and I hope you enjoy it. This is S.J. Smith with the Poetry Channel. Predicting the Future. Considering the future. The future is a most risky prospect to behold. It's obscure and yet to unfold. Some of our future is quite near. Therefore, it should be predictable and clear. But the further out in time we go, our vision is cloudier we know. It's hard for us to think very far. The future seems quite bizarre. To predict the future, we must understand the past, else tomorrow might be our last. So to the past, let's proceed. Maybe this will help meet our need. The past. While written history reaches back 5,000 years or so, there's much more distance in time to go. Yes, proto-humans live much farther back. They could make tools, cook, think, and act. If we remove all forms of humans from our thoughts, certainly eons we may go. But this would be a huge stretch for our futuristic imagination, you know. The present to the near future. So to the present, let's return and see if there's anything that we can learn. How long will our big problems of today stick around and be in play? Surely we're smart enough to know political problems swiftly come and go. Venezuela. Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan. In 50 years, surely these won't stand. Perhaps difficulties between China and Taiwan will be resolved. Can China, with its communist autocracy, beat Western democracy? Farther into the future. But other geopolitical issues likely will arise. Just look to the skies. Space warfare. Surely there will be a lengthy astronomical race will survey the solar system and conquer deep space. Can you imagine cities on Mars and the moon? By the end of this century, does this seem soon? Perhaps these people will develop their own identity and from Earth seek to be free. Certainly asteroids would be visited and riches acquired if Bezos and Musk had the drive and so desired. Too further out in space, humanity will reckon. Those distant spars will beckon. Such an expedition could take hundreds of years to complete, but the payoff could not be beat. Consider the pyramids are 5,000 years old. A few hundred years is not much to behold. But to reach the stars, hundreds of years may not be enough. We'd better consider thousands. That's the stuff. The problem with the future. But the problem is we usually project with a positive and linear trend, but such trajectories always end. Perhaps nuclear war might come to pass and knock civilization on its ass. Two, a changing climate will unfold. Its effects on nature and human are as yet fully untold. Dictators and genociders will surely appear. They will bring mayhem and death with their spear. 1984 is looking more certain, like the descent of the Iron Curtain. Thus there's no guarantee of success or that we shall be blessed. Flipping a coin. Whilst many think the future is relatively certain, it truthfully lies between an obscure curtain. Peering into the future is like flipping a coin. Which side of the future will you join? Are you an optimist seeing a half-full glass? Which vision do you see when it is cast? Perhaps yours is half-empty and you fear the worst, thinking the world will burst. The unknowable future. The problem is we can't be sure. Everything is obscure. I think there is just one thing that we can say. The future will unfold in an unknowable way. Consider Egypt three or 4,000 years ago. It was highly cultured, beautiful, and artistic, you know. Now it's overpopulated, dirty, and drab, not the place to find a nice, clean cap. There's a lesson here to be learned, but it must be discerned. Whether you live in a mansion or a shack, it will have changed much if you could come back.